So we've got things like tractography and functional MRI. So a functional MRI is you go in the machine and they have you perform certain tasks. And we can see things like in the image on the bottom there, you're talking and we can see where your language areas are. As you talk, oxygen, oxygen flow, really blood flow increases to the areas that are being utilized. And we can visualize that on an MRI. And so now we know that you know, this patient, for instance, has a dominant left language area, right? And we can map it out with some you know, degree of certainty that it's there. And we can avoid it when we go after this temporal lesion, right? And we can say, oh, this is in a safe spot. We're not gonna hit major functional areas. And then with tractography, specifically diffusion tensor imaging, we're able to see the white matter tracks. And the white matter tracks are the telephone wires of the brain, right? This is how things communicate. And the technology here is even getting better. Right now, you have to kind of know what the functional tracks are and put your seeds down and then map it all out. But, you know, with, with updates in artificial intelligence, machine learning, this is becoming semi-automated to a degree. And now you can take those images and you can put them on your navigation system. And so in the operating room, again, you've got millimeter accuracy with your wand or your operative instruments. You know exactly where you are and you don't compromise these. Where you know, any compromise of a functional area, or if you cut a telephone wire, there's no more communication, right? You injure someone. So, you know, one of the central tenets of, you know, medicine is obviously do no harm, but in neurosurgery, especially brain tumors, um, it's, uh, you know, safe, um, maximal resection. And that's because we know that if you injure someone, they do worse, all right? So in order to get someone to, to really optimize or maximize the benefit that they're going to get from the surgery that you do, you need them to wake up good, all right? You need them to wake up without a deficit. And so knowing where all this stuff is becomes really critically important. And, you know, guess what? We've, we've actually pushed the envelope on this. And so we get into connectomics, all right? And the brain is an incredibly complex organism, right? Organ in the, in the body. And, you know, there's areas of the brain that might be a little more quiet, but it turns out they all kind of communicate with each other, right? And so there's a new company called Omniscient, which we're working with here, um, that actually uses, uh, you know, MRIs from normal people, um, complex DTI uh, imaging, and it's able to not just pinpoint where the white matter tracks are, which you can see as these kind of ribbons, and not just kind of the functional areas, but it can put them together. And now it can say, well, these are connected via a network. Everything in green is connected via a network. And you can map that out in real time in the operating room with your navigation system. All right. Now, you know, there's limits to all these things. OK, navigation can be skewed by things. There's something called brain shift, which is after you release some of the cerebral spinal fluid, the brain moves a little bit and you become a little bit, you know, it becomes inaccurate. All right. And so, you know, we've, these are real problems. We have to think about them. And so we have because that's what we do when we're, when we're bored. Um, and then on top of that, it's, well, how do you know you get all the tumor out or how do you know, what can help us with the tumor? This is telling us where the brain is, right? But how do we know where the tumor is? And this is important because not all tumors are, are grossly different looking than brains, right? This image is actually of something called a low-grade glioma, which I, I promise you, I don't know how many of you have been there, but in the operating room, this is very difficult to discriminate than the normal surrounding brain, right? But based on this connectomic image, you could take all this margin around here and be safe, you know? So you wanna know how to do that. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you liked that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.